Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on the Winter's Tale and we get to finish up Act 1 today. Finally, we get out of Act 1, Scene 2. We are still there, though, for one more day, but we get to hear from Polixenes, who we haven't heard from yet in this play. This is his first monologue, as I have defined them. Polixenes is the king of Bohemia, and he was really good friends with Leontes, but Leontes now thinks that Polixenes is sleeping with Hermione, which Polixenes vehemently uh, protests he is not sleeping with Hermione because he just isn't. He, he wouldn't do that to his friend. So anyway, he found Camillo, who was told that he has to poison Polixenes and was like, what's wrong with Leontes? And Camillo's like, I can't tell you. Polixenes finally gets us out of him that Camillo is supposed to kill Polixenes, but doesn't really want to. So Camillo instead told Polixenes you know, if you trust me at all, you have to leave the city, you have to leave tonight. I can go around to all of the people in your group and get them out of the city too, just, you know, a couple by this road, a couple by this road, just so that it's not so obvious that you're all fleeing. But you need to flee, and you need to flee now. And since I told you that my master wanted you dead, I'm kind of going to be fired and maybe killed, so can I come work for you? <laughs> and um, Camillo ended his speech yesterday with like, this is all just if you trust me, if you believe me, if you don't, I don't really want to stick around to see the end of it, but I would very much recommend that you get out of here. And Polixenes responds, I do believe thee. I saw his heart in his face. Give me thy hand, be pilot to me, and thy places shall still neighbor mine. My ships are ready, and my people did expect my hence departure two days ago. This jealousy is for a precious creature. As she's rare, must it be great. And as his person's mighty, must it be violent. And as he does conceive, he is dishonored by a man which ever professed to him why his revenges must in that be made more bitter. Fear or shades me. Good expedition be my friend and comfort the gracious queen, part of his theme, but nothing of his ill-taken suspicion. Come, Camillo, I will respect thee as a father, if thou bearest my life off, hence let us avoid. To which Camillo responds, okay, great, I can get people out of the city, let's go. <laughs> so basically, Polixenes also gives us a great thing to say to your friends as you're getting ready to leave the bar, just hence, let's, let's avoid. Hence, let us avoid, um, which I think is a great, you know, if there's somebody creepy and you need to get out of there, just say to your friends, hence, let us avoid. And then you can leave. It's a great exit line. But what he's saying here is that, yes, he believes Camillo because he saw in Leonti's face how upset he was about something. And he's like, you know, I'm ready to go. I was actually supposed to leave a couple days ago. So everything's ready. We just need to get to the ships. And I, I like, I get it that Leontes is jealous because Hermione is amazing. And I, because he's a king, of course he's going to seek the biggest sort of revenge. And because I'm his friend, of course he's going to seek the worst kind of revenge possible against me, which is really really upsetting but then he's like okay never mind that let's get out of here come with me show me the way we'll leave and camilla says yep let's go and that's the end of act one scene two and the end of act one huzzah so come on back tomorrow while we see because i mean hermione is still here with leontes even though polixenes has left leontes remember promised to not hurt hermione or besmirch her reputation if Camillo killed Polixenes, but now Camillo isn't killing Polixenes. So there's a lot that we got to see how it's going to play out. And I will see you tomorrow for more as we dig in a little deeper. Mwah.